Welcome guys, welcome to Questions and Answers. Hope you guys are doing well. I thought I would jump in to say hello and take some of your questions. Um, so let, um, we'll start, give me a question and let's begin, okay? So let's wait a few minutes and we shall see. Hello, welcome, thank you, thank you for coming on, appreciate it. Please um, give me your name and the question and let's begin, okay? Um, yeah, <laughs> what's up? I'm fine, thank you, I hope you guys are doing well too as well. The first question is arthritis. This is chronic acidosis, okay? This essentially means basically that your endocrine glands, your parathyroid gland especially, is not working properly because that's the gland that makes use of calcium. And more importantly though, your bodies are so acidic that it's stripping calcium from tissue, but it's not being replaced. Also, could set up an autoimmune response as well because your lymphatic system is key when it comes to, to uh, such problems. So if I wanted to fix this, I would jump on a grape-only diet, my favorite, for a good 30 days to start. And I'll use at least two different kidney uh, tinctures, a kidney uh, tea, an adrenal gland formula, a bowel strength tincture, endocrine tincture, and give it time. And use parathyroid herbs as, as well to strengthen the parathyroid. Also add in green drinks. Uh, this means um, cucumber, celery, any kind of dark green veggies, you juice it and drink it. And this will help you. You will see you get relief from your... Um, your pain and you get better as you go along okay uh, for the area to get relief from the area use castor oil packs that means applying castor oil use this, this castor oil here it has cayenne pepper winter green and peppermint in there and which is fantastic for fighting inflammation it has this kind of um, cooling off and yet heating effect on the area push it, which pushes blood flow to the area and gives you relief so use that with a hot water bottle on the area and you see that um, you'll get better as you go along, okay? Thank you so much for coming on, guys. Hello, I'm both on TikTok and Instagram. Thank you, I appreciate all of you being here. It means a lot to me. I do appreciate all of you being here. Um, I don't take it for granted for a second. What's the best way to deal with uh, lots, lots, lots of hair? I can't imagine you're seeing lots of hair. If you have lots of hair, you don't have a problem, really, do you? So let's make it an assumption that you have lots of hair. If you have a loss of hair, it's, it's excess mucus in the head region and a lymphatic problem. So your lymphatic system is compromised. You have excess mucus and acids in the head region, okay? This will burn the hair follicles directly. This will affect dandruff, cause dandruff. This will also cause itchy scalp, um, premature grain because the pituitary gland is also here as well. So clean the sinuses, massage the back of your head, like, you know, gentle massage like this. Two, three minutes on a day will help you. Um, clean your ears, clean your eyes with, with the uh, eyesight tincture, a few drops, wash it with distilled water. Um, clean your na nasal passage with a nutty pot with eucalyptus oil. Clean your bowels, very important. Hair growth, hair and the bowels, they're interconnected. So clean your bowels with enemas, herbs with the bowels. Uh, work on your lymphatic system. Work on your kidney filtration, crucial. Add green drinks now and then, okay? I would jump on a grape only diet, but add the green drinks now and then because you want that extra vitamins and minerals. And um, also use um, horse steel tea. It's fantastic uh, because it has high levels of silica. And silica is needed uh, for hair, skin, and nails, okay, Produ um, production. And that's pretty much it. I would use the neurological tincture on my website and the circulation one tincture on my website. Fantastic pro for the hair, hair growth, for the brain, for the upper body, blood flow. Crucial. That's what I, and give it time. That's it. And as I always tell you, blood flow, um, hair, hair is not that important to the body, meaning that it's, um, the body can survive without hair. So if you have hair loss, usually there's something wrong going on and the body is trying to focus on that. It leaves the hair growth behind. So when you're trying to rebuild and grow your hair, it's going to take you a little bit of time because the body will focus on the parts that need the help most for survival. Okay. Thank you so much for coming on, um, on TikTok. Someone says psoriasis rash all over the body. Okay, skin, oh, skin burning and itchy, uh, okay. So she has a psoriasis, burning skin, and itchiness. This is all lymphatics and kidney filtration, okay. Psoriasis, remember, very important, your skin is your third kidney. Therefore, when your um, kidneys are not filtering out waste properly, your skin takes the burden. This takes uh, over a period of time. You could be also be born with it as well. So work on your kidney filtration. Work on your lymphatic system. That's crucial. That's what you're seeing, literally. When you see stuff coming out of your skin, that's lymphatic waste, okay? Metabolic waste mixed with lymph system is lymphatic waste. So work on your liver. Work on your spleen. When I say work on, I mean use herbs for it, okay? And also um, clean your bowels. Very important for your skin, okay? We have an oil called the... Um, 
so, so, so ease oil is called. It's I, I have in the herbs for um, to help you alleviate the um, the scratching and f for the uh, psoriasis. Fantastic! It has about diff eight different essential oils and eight different herbs in there. It's very powerful. But remember that these oils are not going to solve the problem. They're there to alleviate the problem for you because uh, psoriasis, eczema, all this is their internal problems. Okay, big internal problems that you need to fix. So you do need a protocol. So reach out to me if you wish. I'll send you the protocol for free, okay? And you can start your journey. It will take you a little bit of time, but you see amazing results as you go along, okay? Um, next question on Instagram. Sorry, guys. Uh, I want to find a question we can all address. Hi, Rob. Hmm. Uh, are, are the tinctures safe for children to consume? Yes, they are. They depend on the age, okay? So tincture is the most powerful, superior way of getting the herbs to the body. I don't. If you truly understand herbs and how they act you understand why i'm saying that okay as a herbalist you are trained to use the right herbs to get the right reaction and and uh, a tincture has far more herbs than a tea can have or even the fresh uh, uh herb can have so that's why i prefer the tinctures for children i would use a, a lesser dose so i don't know how, how old your child is but um you can reach out to me on my profile link and i'll better be able to guide you okay usually it's just a few drops because it's, it's that strong Okay, um, ooh, someone says, can you please, um, <laughs> funny, so someone, we have a lot of comedians sometimes, <laughs> next question is, um, love your content, what do you know about uh, low blood pressure, low blood pressure indicates that your adrenal glands are weak, okay, when your adrenal glands are weak, you have a low blood pressure, remember that when you look at the uh, blood pressure number, okay, it's always going to be kidneys on top, the top is going to like, so when, sorry, when you think of the kidneys and adrenals, um, this is how, how it is. The top part is your adrenal glands and the bottom part is your kidneys. The word adrenal, ad means top, renal means um, kidneys. Therefore, the adrenals and kidneys, they're inter interconnected. And when you have high blood pressure, it's kidney filtration weakness. When you have low blood pressure, it's an adrenal gland weakness. You actually have a bit of both. So because it, you keep on going back and forth. Uh, your blood pressure number is never constant. It's always changing. So work on your kidneys and work on your adrenal glands by using herbs for that and jump on a grape only diet to kind of get the lymphatic system moving quickly. And that's how you fix it. You can use Indian snake root, fantastic for the for blood pressure. Of course, you stay on your meds as you do this and you see that you make great uh, Im improvements in the high and, and or the low blood pressure for that matter, okay? Uh, so Rosacea, I covered that already. Give me a second. Let me find a good question we can all um, address or take care of, okay? Okay, next question. Sorry, on Instagram, next question is, um, uh, would you recommend a vibrating plate? Yes, um, a vibrating plate is um, a, kind of a machine where you, you step on and it, it, it moves. It, it kind of vibrates. And what it does is that it, it moves your lymphatic system. It, thank you for the gift, um, Rhodes. Uh, um, I appreciate it. Yeah, so the vibrational plate will you st you step on it and it shakes you up, kind of thing, and it's very powerful and you can feel um <laughs> you can feel the lymph system move practically. So yeah, I do recommend it. Not everybody has access to it though. If you don't have access to it, just go on a rebounder and uh, bounce, but don't jump. Bounce gently. That can also give you that same effect. Okay. Uh, Rosacea, I, co uh, I covered the skin already. If you have my video, I will post it on Instagram and on um, YouTube. So when we're done here and you miss any question, you want to watch it, go to Instagram. It's there first before YouTube. Um, good evening, my belly hurts and uh, face puffy. Doctor said I have, uh, oops, I missed that, sorry. Doctor says I have acid reflux, okay. So the belly hurts and the face is puffy. And whenever you see puffiness, any kind of uh, swelling or water retention, that's your kidney filtration. And the acid reflux is actually a kidney filtration problem and a lymphatic problem. So for me, if I wanted to fix this acid reflux, I'll be focusing on my kidney and kidney filtration. So at least two different kidney tinctures, a kidney tea, an adrenal gland formula, a bowel strength tincture to clean my bowels, uh, work on the liver, work on the pancreas, clean the whole GI tract, okay, very important. And use herbs for, for that, of course. And uh, for acid reflux, you may not be able to take the grapes or the or the uh, citrus or the melons. So I'll use like apples and um, very uh, mangoes, pears. These are very um, gentle fruits, but very powerful at the same time. And after a few weeks, build up to the grapes, the lemons and the, the melons, okay? Uh, or you can add some green drinks in there as well. And you see that when you get on the fruit cleanse, the, the symptoms of your acid reflux will go away because you are draining the acids out, causing the burn. Okay, so acid reflux, even though it's, you think it's from the GI tract, it's actually kidneys and lymphatics. Thank you for the gift. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much on TikTok. 
Okay, next question on Instagram. Oh, right. <clears throat> Guys, um, let's press the share like button. And let's get people in here. Let's help one another, okay? Um, I want to teach you all this stuff. But, and the only way I keep on telling you this to learn is to follow. Because when you follow me, you're going to hear the same message in different ways being said. And you get, um, you get good at it. So make sure you press the share, like, and follow button. And invite some friends over. Let's, let's help them as best as we can. Um, so someone says, oh, it's, I covered it already. So, but someone says, thanks for having me. I believe I have IBS or some bowel digestion issue. Can I slowly... He was, sure, I covered it already, okay? I'm worried, she said, I'm worried I won't be able to jump into the fruit diet. I just covered it literally. If the fruit diet is too strong for you, the exact same steps with the acid reflux, you use that for the IBS, but use green drinks. If you go on the green drinks and you add the same herbs, after a week or two, you see great improvement, so much so that you can tolerate the fruits, no problem whatsoever. It proves to you that you are, you are fixing your lymphatic system, okay? So that's what I would do. I want to explain to you about kidney filtration because some people don't understand what kidney filtration is. I'm not speaking of the um, EGFR uh, number. I'm speaking of kidney filtration that you can see visibly. So and now this is a, is a paper cup, but if you were to wake up in the morning and you um, urinate into the, a clear jar, you should see um, sediment in it of some sort, some kind of sediment. Okay, that means some snowflakes. Uh, mucus strands in it. That tells you that your kidneys are filtering out metabolic waste. If you don't see it, where's all that waste going? It's not going a good place. It's being stored in the lymphatic system. It's being stored in fat and you get problems. Okay. So understand kidney filtration is crucial. Understand your lymphatic system. Crucial. If you understand the lymphatic system and the kidney filtration, you are halfway there. You, you already know how to take care of your body. Okay. And how to heal your body. So very important. You understand those concepts and apply them. Uh, I straight, sorry. You see, someone says, verified. Someone says, yes, yes, very true. I started with green drinks, then I worked my way to the fruits. That's what you got to do. If the fruits are too powerful for you, go in the green drinks. Um, the fruits tell you what's wrong with you. I cannot stress that enough. A lot of people, they come to me, they'll, they'll say, um, I went on fruits and I, I didn't feel good. Well, you don't feel good because you're toxic. That's what, what it means. If you can consume fruits and you don't have any reaction, you are not so bad. You're doing well. But if you can consume fruits and you have a reaction, it's a big problem. It's a big problem with your lymphatic system and your kidneys. You, you will notice that these very same people are the people who go and eat a high-protein diet and starches because there are no symptoms over there. But what they don't realize is that those diets are suppressing and hiding their problems. And eventually, one day, because whatever you suppress, it will explode. So if one day comes out in a bad way. So use your fruits to tell you if there's something wrong with you. You have your fruits and you have a reaction. Something is wrong. So fix it. Um, oh, well, well, oh, wow. Good question. Um, so I, I went from stage 2 kidney failure to stage 5 which w within months. Okay, well done. But I still urinate a lot. So I'm making an assumption. I can't see your face. But if you are male... If you are male, it could be your prostate, okay? So you want to con go on the grape-only diet, okay? And then um, add herbs for your prostate, like salt, palmetto, and nettle root. And use the Kidney 6 uh, formula on my website. It will help cleanse it even faster. But um, I don't know what protocol you're on. I would be on the 100% fruit diet, the grape-only diet for my kidneys. I would use three different kidney formulas, an adrenal gland formula, because the adrenals control your kidneys, a prostate formula, okay? And um, herbs for your endocrine glands, herbs for your bowels. If you're a female, I would use extra herbs for my kidneys. I'll, I'll probably also use a female hormonal balancer to balance my hormones just in case and clean the uterus region with a lymphatic tea. You boil the tea, you sift it through, you cool it off and, and use, it, use it as a douche once a day for a good two weeks, okay? That can help improve, it, improve, improve things really quickly. Okay, next question on Instagram is, um, um, is... is, is is the Fab 5 good for acid reflux? The Fab 5 is good for everything because it's the base. The Fab 5 um, is a base, okay? Here it is. So we need the base because, remember, the reason why you're going to use herbs, herbs are there to help you optimize the structure and function of your cells. So if you go in a fruit cleanse and you add the herbs, you are giving yourself that boost. If you go in a fruit cleanse and you don't add the herbs, because the fruits are not the way they used to be, or they're not grown properly, you're, you're gonna have a longer time to, uh, to heal, okay? So that's why I always recommend you go in the fruits and the herbs for that purpose, okay, you want help. Thank you, Darlene0728, uh, I appreciate the gift. 
Uh, it means a lot to me. Thank you, all of you who have given me the gift. Uh, um, in the master is the master class good for prostate and bladder not emptying and okay. So if your your pro, if your bladder is not emptying, is your is a parathyroid weakness in part, but also kidneys are not filtering out waste properly. So the whole area is getting weak. The parathyroid gland is used for tissue integrity, also for the sphincter control. So strengthening your parathyroid gland. Use endocrine herbs. Use parathyroid herbs, okay? And the master cleanse, the lemon only cleanse, is, is also good for that. It will help you cleanse. But I would use the lemon undiluted cleanse, my version. The master cleanse is a diluted version of the lemon cleanse. So basically, you take a bunch of lemons, you make lemonade, add some cayenne pepper in there, and a sweetener. And my version is pure lemons. You juice three to five lemons and you drink it. And the benefit, the difference between the two is that they're both lemons, yes. But when, you, when it's undiluted, especially in your case, because you're urinating a lot, um, you have less fluid, which means less less fluid for the kidneys to deal with. Okay, so it's very potent. It's, it's the exact same fruit, but more potent when you don't dilute it. You're giving the kidneys a chance to to have a break, and the uh, lemons are very um, alkalizing to the body, even though they're acidic fruits. Okay, so I'll go on the lemon only cleanse my version, the lemon on the cleanse. Okay, let me grab it here. Let's see, it's right here. So use the lemon on the cleanse. Okay, I also have a free version on my profile link if you want it. Okay, um, my goal is to help you, to serve you. So I always have free versions up here. But if you want a copy of the full book, um, it's right here. You go to lemon only cleanse. Use the herbs for your um, for the um, sorry the, the blood. I use for the parathyroid, endocrine glands. If you are male, use herbs for the prostate. If you're herbs, if you're female, use lymphatic tea and clean clean the area, the uterus, uh, the vagina region. Okay, very important. Get get it. Thank you so much for the gift, uh, Ellie. Appreciate it. Okay, uh, reach out to me for the protocol. I'll send it to you, no problem at all. Okay, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You know, all you gotta do is do the work. Um, let me see what I said. Is there any way to come back from liver damage? Yes, the liver. The liver is the one organ that's the easiest to regenerate because um, the divine, whoever created the human body, understood that the liver is crucial for the body. It's the largest. Is it's it's equivalent of um, having a five hundred. A football field length of factory that can manufacture uh, chemicals okay that's how important it is therefore when it's damaged um, it heals really quickly when you when you put it in the right environment so if I had a liver problem liver damage I want to fix it I'll be on a grape only diet for 30 to 45 days at the minimum to start and I would be on a, the liver tea I have it three times a day liver and pancreas tincture I would also use the fabulous five and at least two different kidney formulas and I do not gland formula and watch how it improves you'll be you'll be amazed Guys, the body is a magical healing system. It's designed to heal itself. I mean, the way it heals itself is beyond comprehension. We don't really understand how it does it. But the only thing that it requires from you when you want to heal the human body is to put it in an environment where it can optimize its healing. When we eat the protein and starches, it's not in an optimal state of healing. When we're eating cooked foods, it's not in an optimal state of healing environment. When you're on the raw and you're adding dry fasting and the herbs, now you put it in a place where it can self-heal. Okay, that's why we use those tools. But nothing is next to impossible unless it's too far gone. Even so, even so, I will still try. Okay, because the body can come back; it can bounce back. Okay, next question is. Um, oops, sorry, I keep on pressing uh, wrong, the wrong the link. Forty-five days of what I missed? Forty-five days of a grape-only cleanse or a fruit-only cleanse. Um, or someone says, I feel great. My pain is gone. You see, folks, this is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, look at this simple apple here. This apple here, which I'm eating. I've partially eaten. There's a power in here, okay? We have, not, we have not been told the secret of the fruits. There's power in the fruits more than you can comprehend because it's energy. And we are energy beings. When you eat energy, you get the energy. It's raw, living. There's energy in here, literally. Forget the minerals and the vitamins in there, but there's energy. And when you eat energy, you get the energy. When it's cooked, you destroy the energy. Okay? So that's why the raw is important. An apple. Go on an apple only cleanse. Even apple is not as strong as the grapes or lemons or citrus fruits. But an apple only cleanse by itself will, will get you better. That's how powerful it is. Combine with the herbs and you're laughing. Okay? You're, like you do very well. Um, so next question 
what can you do for jock itch i have an oil on my website called the anti-bug oil it has stuff like oregano thyme and a bit of garlic in there fantastic for for the jock itch for anything for your tools tool fungus you use that sort of thing but remember that jock itch um always always address internal internally because even though it's externally your body has created an environment that is breeding a fungus okay and you always want to address the root cause um so what says type 2 dizziness and type 2 oops okay let's see um when you have any kind of blood sugar problem pre-diabetes or um, type 2 you have to understand the cause cause is a weakened nervous system and weakened pancreas and weak adrenal glands those three are the major cause but those three are dependent on the lymphatic system and the kidney filtration so the root cause of your blood sugar problems is actually your kidneys and lymphatic system okay so if i was trying to fix it i would go on a, um, a low glycemic fruit like uh, apples oranges um cherries fantastic for uh, the low glycemic and i would use uh, two different kidney formulas a kidney tea and adrenal gland formula for my adrenals uh, uh, liver and pancreas formula for my pancreas Okay, herbs in my endocrine glands to spark it up and clean my nervous system by working on, by cleaning my head region here, the back of the head, by cleaning my adrenal glands and cleaning my bowels, and um, watch how you improve. You might need an adrenal glandula and a pancreas glandula to spark the gland up. Okay, but if you do that, you realize that the first few days you sugar load, even though it's low glycemic because there's a lot of fats and proteins in your blood, and then after that the sugar drops and stabilizes, and you'll be shocked. I would also use blueberry tea and or fenugreek tea it, it, it's been shown in many studies to drop your sugar nicely for you okay um so watch your meds as you do this because when, you, when your sugar drops and you're taking meds you know you gotta watch your sugar levels uh, carefully next question is on, on tiktok um <laughs> my stomach growls randomly even after i just ate and what can i do to stop it when you have the growling in your stomach fix your pancreas Fix you, you see because you have um, the patel cells in your st stomach region. You know they produce acids, and you have the pancreas that they produce the um, alkaline chemistry uh, enzymes to break things down. So you gotta fix those two. One of those two is imbalanced. So fix your pancreas, fix your stomach or your bowels. You clean your GI tract. Use herbs for your your liver and your pancreas for your small intestines, your large bowels. Uh, work on your adrenal glands, control peristalsis. Clean the whole area. I've gone on a one fruit cleanse. One fruit. Okay, like a grape only, a melon only, something like that, because you want to keep digestion very simple. Don't, of course, don't touch any protein and, and, and starches. You want a mono fruit cleanse. Do that with a fabulous five and watch how you improve. Okay. Okay, next question is um, I want to see a good question we can on to. How long, how long should one be on a lemon cleanse if you have your hair falling and blurred vision? Um, it's not a matter of how long. First of all, if you, if you have a problem like blurred vision, and, and um, uh, hair loss is a more far, far bigger ex um, issue than it appears. Because I told you, hair loss is a lymphatic problem. Hair loss is a kidney filtration problem. And your hair starts to fall out when something else is compromised in your body. So the hair is not important to the body, so it focuses on the parts that are essential for survival. It could be your kidneys, it could be your liver, it could be your endocrine glands, I don't know what it could be, depending on your genetics. but. I would go on a mixed fruit diet and add a lemon cleanse now and then because to go on extended lemon cleanse is difficult. Most people can't do it. I've seen someone do a 90-day lemon cleanse. Fantastic. And she, she literally changed her hair, her skin. It, it was amazing. But I don't recommend you do that 90-day lemon cleanse. It's too strong, for, too strong and too long for most. So you can cycle. You can have mixed fruits, then add a lemon cleanse for a few days, add a grape-only cleanse for a few days, add the herbs. So that's what you do. The blood vision means that you got mucus and acids in the head, which is affecting your hair loss and your eyes. So clean your sinuses, massage your head, okay? Clean your eyes with the eyesight thing on my website. Clean your ears with the uh, spray, uh, spray gown to clean, clean the mucus. Use um, nasty pot for your nose and nasal passage. Get the acids out. Clean your bowels. For the eyes, work on the liver. Liver and eyes connected. Work on the bowels. Liver and, I'm sorry, eyes and bowels connected. But more importantly, work on your lymphatic system, work on your kidneys. If you do that, you see when the acids leave the body, you see that the hair starts to grow. The vision gets better as well, okay? I have a tea on my website called the Eyesight, Ting eyesight Her um, Tea, as well as the Eyesight Tincture. Both are phenomenal. You should drink one of them, the tea, and use the Eyesight Tincture as well internally and also wash your eyes and watch how your eyes improve. 
okay it gets the mucus out of the eye region it helps uh, blood flow to the eye you see better you hear hear better you smell better you your sense of smell improve as well guys so many questions thank you so much for being here i really appreciate it please press the share like and follow button unfortunately i can't answer all these questions thank you for the hearts and all the love you've given i appreciate it and the gifts those who give gifts thank you so much but the greatest gift you can give me is helping yourself if you can take the, the information i'm giving you and help yourself and help another person that's the greatest gift i can get and that's what i care about so use the information thank you for the gift early use the information i'm giving you and use it and be like there's so many People I get every day coming to me telling me thank you because they use the information and they succeeded. I give the information for free. Thank you for the gifts, Ellie. So kind, so generous. Um, I click here, the profile link, and send me your question. Okay? Um, it's free. I don't charge anything. Anyone who knows, uh, has reached out to me, knows that when I give information, I give you all the information. I don't hold anything back. Okay? I'll give you the protocol for the herbs and the, and the fruits. You do the work and you benefit. That's simple. I don't think can get any more simple simpler or generous than that okay so take advantage of it click the link send you the information you need as well okay um let me take one more question or so and we'll move from there um a par sorry how do you get a personal consultation consultation with, with you if you want a, a consult you go to the link profile link on my website there's a uh, something called a phone consult or a detoxification consult. There are two different ones. You can select what's good for you and we can talk on the phone, okay? Or you can have a full protocol where I read your eyes, I read your tongue. I got everything up there for you. So go to my website and search for consultation, okay? Uh, well, thank you, good question. Okay, next question on Instagram is, um, I have puffy, I have puffy um, bags underneath my eye. Okay, so, if you're tired, you don't sleep that well, you're stressed out, this can occur, then nothing wrong with that, okay? Obviously, get some sleep. But if you have puffy eyes, uh, puffy eyes or uh, um, bags underneath the eye, um, and, and it came all of a sudden and it's staying around, it's not leaving, um, that's your kidneys. It's a kidney filtration problem. You gotta fix your kidneys, okay? So, how do you fix your kidneys? You jump on a grape only diet, or lemon only cleanse, or what, watermelon only cleanse. I like the mono food, one fruit diet better. And then use two different kidney tinctures, a kidney tea, an adrenal gland formula, bowel strength tincture, endocrine tincture, and um, lymphatic herbs. And, and give it time and watch how your, your body improves, your eye improves. In the meantime, take um, ice cubes, okay? Or you can take a, um, a, a bowl, fill it with water, put some ice cubes in there, and put your face in the water, okay, for a few seconds. And do that for a few, a few times, maybe five, six times. And it'll help you um, get rid of the puffiness in the eye as well. Or you can take an ice cube and rub it, okay? That also help you. Um, I have an oil called the um, coffee oil. Fantastic for that because um, it, it tends to tighten up the skin and it takes away the excess water. So use the coffee oil on my website for that as well. And you see you do very well, okay? Good, great questions. Um, okay, Insta TikTok. Um, why would someone um, get high blood pressure if they don't have cholesterol? Well, they're not necessarily inter they're interconnected, but you don't have to have one and, and the other. So she has... Um, high cholesterol and high blood pressure. I'll tell you how they're connected. They're connected because the body is acidic. And um, for the for the cholesterol, the body is the cholesterol is the body's main antacid. The body uses cholesterol to de defend itself, among other things, um, against um, acidity. Okay, because it, it can it can neutralize the, the acids or hold the acids. Okay, and the high blood pressure comes when you have uh, poor kidney filtration and weak adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are involved with the cholesterol as well and the liver. So when you have a weak adrenal glands, cholesterol can be off as well. So to fix this, the high blood pressure and cholesterol, I'll be on a grape-only diet or on a mixed fruit diet for 30, 45 days. I'll use herbs for my kidney for kidney filtration, use herbs for my adrenal glands, herbs for my liver. I'll clean my bowels, use help from my lymphatic system, help from my endocrine glands, and give a little bit of time, and you see that both um, the numbers will balance nicely out for you, okay? When the body is not too uh, acidic, the cholesterol is not needed anymore. Um, when, when the uh, kidneys are filtering out ways, the blood pressure comes down nicely as well. Of course, stay in your meds when you, if you're on meds until this happens, and you ask your doctor to take you off or wean you off, okay? Uh, oh, good question. I have a productive coughing since september and nothing seems to work about what should i do so if you have a cough that you can't get rid of here's what i would use i would use the um let me use two versions for you but 
I'll use the parasites um, C um, thing, uh, tea on my website. Take about a teaspoon of it, put it with, with uh, unpasteurized honey. Uh, add in a bit of garlic juice, a bit of ginger juice in there as well. A, a dash of cayenne pepper in there. And, um, and and lemon, a lemon juice squeeze. And I'll mix it together and I'll take it like a teaspoon or a tablespoon and do that uh, three to f four times a day. That will heal the inflammation, the, get rid of any kind of bacteria or fun fungal problems. And then you see, you, you'll be able to get rid of the cough as well, okay? Th that's what I would use. If you don't have the parasite C herbs, and then you can do it without the parasite seed. That means ginger, garlic, honey, a lemon. Okay, you mix it all together and you take it. It's gotta be it's gotta be unpasteurized honey, though. Okay, so guys, uh, please, 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 wherever you find yourself, don't let this pass you by. If you start and make small changes to your life and to your diet, you will see drastic improvements. If you change your breakfast to fruits, lunch fruits, and dinner you had like a, a, a cooked vegan, you're still ahead of the game. And all you got to do is, is just do that for a few days and then progress to fruits, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then use the Fabulous Five. That's it. That's all you need. And you'll see changes and drastic changes and your improvements are that. Okay? So don't let anything stop you. Make those changes, small changes. The motivation comes when your body, when you start to see changes in your body that you like, you'll be motivated. Motivation is, um, is something that you can, you can work on by taking action. Okay? So wherever you find yourself, act. Get your herbs, Fabulous Five. Get your food, start your journey, and do well. If I missed your question, I apologize. Simply click the link right here, my profile link, sent to me on my Facebook, on my website, and I'll address it for you. I'm very grateful and thankful, thankful for you to be being here. Uh, thank you for the questions. Thank you for the gifts on TikTok. Thank you for the shares and the likes and the kind words. Um, Ellie, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate it so much. Um, um, nothing makes me happy to help you even further. And if you're, you're happy, thank you, um, Uptown7. If you're happy with the results you got early, please reach out to me on my um, Instagram or Facebook. I'd love to hear from you personally, directly, um, and, and take your uh, testimonial. Okay, thank you and bless you. Have a, have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Stay blessed and stick, stay true to your fruits and your herbs, and you're going to do very well. Thank you.